Hello everyone! Today we will be sharing our comprehensive review of the Nothing Phone 2. This device comes impressively close to being a flagship model, but can we categorize it as a high-end smartphone given its Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC? Well, let's talk about it. There are two ways to look at the Nothing Phone 2 design. On a more objective perspective, we would say that nothing hasn't really gone out of its way to keep the same visual codes of the previous model. However, if we look at it from a fan's perspective, we would say that we don't really see what nothing could have fundamentally changed. The smartphone is slightly thinner, the edges on the back are slightly curved, this gives the impression of a transparent shell. Some people may prefer the flat back of the Nothing Phone 1. Regardless of personal preference, one undeniable fact is that the slightly more rounded design makes the Nothing Phone 2 more pleasant to hold. The front and the rear panels are made of Gorilla Glass 5 and the frame is aluminium. On the other hand, the Nothing Phone 2 is only IP54 certified and frankly, a flagship needs IP67 or IP60A for water and dust resistance, no less. The Nothing Phone 2 display is 6.7 inch OLED panel with a full HD resolution. It incorporates LTPO technology and can vary the refresh rate between 1 and 120 Hz depending on the scenario. Maximum brightness is 1600 nits according to the company. We didn't experience any problems with visibility or fluidity and the colorimetry is quite nice in active mode. As its predecessor, the Nothing Phone 2 display is flat, which we know will please many people. On the lock screen, thanks to the new Nothing OS 2.0, we have easy access to widgets and system shortcuts. Yes, the Nothing Phone 2 runs on Nothing OS 2.0. The interface is based on Android 13. So, here we have all the customization options of Android 13 with dynamic themes and themed icons. Furthermore, Nothing comes with its share of customizations. The Nothing theme is visually appealing. There are animations for certain widgets, such as the ability to swipe up and down on the weather widget. Yes, our team really enjoyed the Nothing OS 2.0, especially the fact that we can now add widgets and system shortcuts directly in the lock screen. This means no more scrolling through the quick access menu to activate the flashlight, connection sharing or anything else. It's user-friendly and intuitive. The famous Glyph interface, the lights on the back of the Nothing Phone 2, is also a bit less gimmicky than last year. Yes, this is true. Now you can compose your own glyphs. There is a choice of different types of sound with variation in tone and rhythm, so you can play around and compose your own ringtones. Let's say that is very effective. The idea of gamifying a simple setting in the parameters is creative. This enhances the user experience, especially since Nothing will be regularly uh, collaborating with artists to offer more sound packs throughout the year. Let's see if that will happen, right? The latest addition is the Glyph Timer function. Set the timer, place the smartphone flat, face down and watch as the light bar gradually drains away to show the passing time. The phone's big selling point is definitely its Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC. Yes, it's a high-end chip, but from last year. It's found on the OnePlus 10T and the Galaxy Z Flip 4 as well. Basically, there is a big performance gain over the Nothing Phone 1. This is really clear for us here in XBit. And the performance is very consistent. You can play at almost constant 60 FPS for one hour non-stop without any problem. However, the thermal throttling, uh, which slows down the smartphone to prevent overheating, is too aggressive. It does show a few frame rate drops after one hour of play. Let's talk about camera now. 
The Nothing Phone 2 continues to offer a dual photo module without a telephoto lens. There's a 50 megapixels main lens and a 50 megapixels ultra wide angle lens. The selfie camera offers 32 megapixels resolution. In daylight, the main lens performs well. The level of details is good and the colorimetry accentuates colors without saturating them too much. The dynamic range, on the other hand, is not enough balanced. We experience a few exposure problems with complex contrasts, where photos were either overexposed or drowned out by shadows. The ultra-wide angle lens has some color consistency issues with the main lens. Portrait mode clipping was rather clean, and the quality of the digital zoom was rather limited once the two times magnification was exceeded. The ultra-wide angle lens also offers a macro function, and the quality of it is surprisingly good. At night, shots are quite natural, sometimes even a little too natural, with a noticeable loss of detail that makes the night shots a little blurred. The selfie camera is okay, a clear improvement over the previous model. Finally, on the video side, the Nothing Phone 2 can shoot in 4K at 60 FPS with the two sensors on the back, which is very good. Selfies, on the other hand, are limited to 1080p at 60 FPS, which is a shame. The Nothing Phone 2 boosts a 4700 mAh battery, that's 200 more than the Nothing Phone 1. It still accepts 45 watts wired charging, 15 watts wireless charging, and 5 watts reverse wireless charging. In the PC Mark's autonomy benchmark, the phone lasted 16 hours and 35 minutes before dropping below 20% battery life. And that's a very good score. In practical use, you can easily last a day or even a day and a half on a single charge with conventional use. Recharging is not the fastest on the market. It takes just under an hour for a full charge. In 30 minutes, it went from 0 to 70% on average. That's about right. Not crazy, but decent. Is the Nothing Phone 2 a true Android flagship or not? We believe it is almost there, but not quite. On our opinion, it is still below Samsung Galaxy S23, iPhone 14 or Xiaomi 13. There is no denying, though, that it is a clear upgrade from last year's Nothing Phone 1. And let's be honest, Nothing has only been around for three years. The design is more mature, the Glyph interface is a little less gimmicky, performance is consistent, and the Nothing OS 2 is probably one of the best Android overlays out there. However, Nothing still has some work to do on photo quality. In absolute terms, we recommend Nothing Phone 2. Thanks for watching this video, see you on our next review, stay hydrated and please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching the Nothing Phone 2 video. Thank you, bye bye.